Hello everyone, Poor Cynic here with another Endless Runner Rampage, where I go into Endless Runner games blind, play them for a little bit, and tell you what I think. And today we're going to be looking at Sonic Dash. Because hey, what's an Endless Runner game without the most runningest character of all time? Alright, and just a heads up. Technically, this is going to be the first Sonic game, oh my god, we're already starting, first Sonic game I have ever played, because uh, I was a Nintendo kid growing up. So, uh... This is going to be a learning experience for everyone. Collect rings to fill the dash meter. Okay, I pretty much get that. Gotta go... F gotta go fast! I know that part, anyway. I, I missed what that said. Oh, okay. And now, showing off time. Alright. Show your sweet moves, yo! Now jump. I don't need to bother with the likes of you, but I can get all this. See, like I said, I was very much a Nintendo kid growing up. I never had the uh, Sega console or anything like that. Um, it was all about, you know, the Link and Mario and stuff like that. Uh, and, yeah, I know... Basically, oh, cool. What I know is that uh, Sonic has definitely gotten a bad rap in modern times. Probably games like this aren't going to be helping all that much. Because uh, I figure there are going to be in-app in purchases and it's going to, you know, souring the memory of what we know of Sonic. But, uh, I don't know, I'm just rambling now. Right. Oh, it's that guy. Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, or Eggman, whatever. All right, bring it on, you nerd. What am I doing here? I am dodging the missiles, I guess. All right, just a bit of simple pa pattern memorization. Oh, and now it's gonna get uh, gonna get tricky. He's throwing stuff at me, or throwing. Oh, you can't. Oh, I thought you could dash through those. You cannot. All right. Well, there's the high score to beat. I can continue. Uh, free revive. If I watch a movie, skip all that. Okay, so I got a rather paltry score. I can buy a character pack for four bucks. I was right about them throwing in that purchases at you right away. Thirty-three rings. So you didn't see it because I cut it out, but there was a giant pop-up video ad that just appeared in the middle of, uh, of this. So that's fun. That's great. That's always a, a good measure of a game's quality. Is, uh, is all about how many ads they can stuff into your face. There's, this screen is This is all just throwing stuff at me and... That's fine, but for this it just seems too much for for such a you know and and nothing endless runner game. Missions I complete, get missions recruited, blah blah blah. blah. I've been given two red star rings. Okay, yay! All right, um, jump five times, blah blah blah. So if I get these, I get rewards, I assume. More advertisements for the game I'm playing. Oh no, this is a different game. This is another, I guess, Endless Runner title. Oh my gosh. Alright, upgrades. Tell me all about the upgrades. I can use my bank rings to buy stuff. Or, I guess, to improve my... The way I play. Alright, take a look at some of the other stuff we got. Uh, reset tutorial, restore purchases, game center, Facebook, blah, you know, as you expect. Look at support. Sega support and information, privacy policy, you my ID, terms of service, statistics, you know, as expected, and credits, hard light and pixel toy. Special thanks to all at Sega, all the contractors, and loyal fans. And it looks like I can take a look at the characters that are going to eventually be available that I unlock with these red star rings. You got Tails, you got Knuckles, Amy, 
Not very responsive, the, uh, the little side arrows. You get blaze. Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to tap. Okay, At that time it was actually pretty responsive. But uh, before, it was like really lagging. So, uh, oh, I didn't look at some of these other things. You can look at what your friend's doing. You can look at your rewards. The daily challenge. Uh, day five, look what you can win. And spin. Oh, daily spin to win. All right, I'll play your game. Boom. And looks like we're picking up. Oh, how about that? We got tails or whatever that is. I can now play as tails. Radical. It looks like the next daily spin will allow me, if I got it, to play as Eni. So hey, I got to play as I'm gonna get to play as Tails. So I'll show that off. Why not? Tails miles per hour, I believe. Uh, boosters. I. All right, select boosters for a higher score, and you have to select. Oh, okay. Spring bonus. Hitting a spring gives a score bonus that increases with every successive spring reached. Okay. And what about the rings? Ring streaks give initial score bonus, and then we have crabs. Each enemy combo is worth bonus points. And what about the uh, the golden fellas down here? Defeat six golden badniks for times six score bonus. And your score gets an added bonus at the end of a run. Uh, let's just stick with the basic boosters at the moment. And we're... Okay, there we go. We're off and running. Oh, what? What? Oh, I spun too soon. That's bull. Oh, uh, well, that was a that was a good run. That was a top-notch quality run. Hi, Vey. No. Yeah, who doesn't love Facebook? So another advertisement there. This time for Game of War, which a game I will never, ever, 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 ever play. So if you're hoping I'm going to do a video on that, you are sadly mistaken. All right, ignore what happened that first time. That was a, that was a fluke. All right, now I know, hopefully, what I'm doing here, and I will not be stupid with any luck. Although considering it's me, there might be some of that yet. All right, all right, uh, you can't fool me. Ah, oh, sweet, I can vacuum up the rings now. Oh, shambitch. Did I just lose every single ring I got? So basically, you can take one hit, and then you're done. It's like, if you gathered up a bunch of rings before that, too bad. Uh, it's not gradual, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, good, we're already into a, another boss battle. It was Zaz. Sonic Lost World, okay. Dodge the stars, okay. What an eccentric performance! <laughs> yeah, I get it. Alright. Ah! Blah, blah, blah. I got no rings for that run. That was... Tap to attack. Boom! Take that. Take another one of these. Right on the chin. You go, dang it! Ooh, yeah, it's gonna get on! Alright, we... Oh, there was a red star thing there. It would have been really helpful to get. But okay, guess not. Yeah, I jumped five times. I'm crazy like that. Alright, there went my... Uh, whatever that was. Alright, I actually banked more rings than usual this time. Yeah, show off, Tails. Pose. You can do it. You're the man. 
Foxtail Man. Boy. Everything I know about Sonic, I learned from other... Well, that just hardly seems fair. Yeah, I've been given a red star ring. All right, that's great. Collect four Sonic Jigsaw pieces to complete the daily challenge. All right, that's interesting. Almost broke 20 thou. That's not bad. That's not bad. And yet another Game of War uh, advertisement there. So, so far, this is not impressing me. Um, mostly because of all the extraneous crap I've been given. We're going to go through one more time. We're going to go back to Sanic. And we're going to, you know, play until I die, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. Collect one more puzzle piece. That sounds, sounds like fun. Look at all them rings. I'm rolling in the bling bling. Never speak of that again. Come on, man. Do 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 running. Up. All right, no problem. Don't like having to change two lanes uh, in very quick amount of time because this is not, as I said, as I might have mentioned before, it's not particularly responsive sometimes. Uh, before it was in regards to the arrow, but in this case, just. It's not, uh, not working out spectacularly. Hey! Oh, what? Bull. Oh my gosh, I'm going so fast! Whee! Okay, that's enough of that. Alright, I filled up my dash meter. Alright, pretty good, pretty good. Jump! All right, not bad. That was a, I think that was the most rings I've ever gotten on a run. So, yeah. Boom! Boom, look at me go! Gotta go feast! All right, that's enough of that. Stop doing that. Oh, you're throwing stuff at me right away. All right. Not a problem. Rolled five times. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I am equipped with a uh, with a magnet. Or I was equipped with a magnet; is immediately gone. Bounce to the fish. Oh, it's okay. I stomp him. That was cool. All right, not bad, not bad. It's going along pretty well. If I can break twenty thou, I'd be I'd find that satisfactory. I find that a satisfactory way to cap things off. Jump again. Jump, tap, boom. Should probably should use this dash meter at some point. Let's just go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's the dash meter for you. Got to go fast, and I went fast. Oh. I do like that it's getting a little bit more complicated uh, as the, as you go on, as it should in Endless Runners. But, uh... Oh. Alright, that required, you know, the reflexes of Sonic the Hedgehog, basically. For $15 to remove advertisements. Are you seeing this at the bottom of the screen? For, I guess that's part of a bundle, but, uh... That's insane. Before I give my final thoughts, I want to check something. All right, uh, completed the daily challenge because I picked up all the puzzle pieces, so that's cool. I don't know what that did, but alrighty. I want to see something because uh, what's the minimum you'd have to buy? Okay, so the minimum in order to remove ads, it looks like it's what four dollars. All right, uh, is that applied to anything else? It does not appear to be the case. I've seen games that say you have to pay to remove advertisements before. It's definitely something I'm not a huge fan of, but if the game's good enough, I'm willing to give it a pass, especially if it doesn't have any other in-app purchases. Um, but this, uh, the minimum is $4. 
Typically, I've seen it at a dollar. So this is particularly egregious. And I'm not pleased about that. And I'm not pleased about this game, honestly. This is just a uh, you know, lackluster cash and attempt, I feel. And, you know, there's so much uh, in-app purchase. There's so many ads that just pop onto the screen whenever you finish a level. Uh, and they're long ads, too. I think the last one I sat through, which was uh, you know, Angry Birds 2, that was like 30 seconds. And it's 30 unskippable seconds, because otherwise I would have just, you know, popped straight out of there. But, uh, yeah, that's really not something I can just overlook. This is, this is not good. The gameplay for an Endless Runner is okay, but, uh, yeah, everything else, the trappings around it, are just awful. There are better games, there are better Endless Runner games. You know, the one I played last time, uh, Time Surf, that was much better than this. Uh, so yeah, so give this a pass. Even if you like Sonic, part of that dwindling population, this is not going to help you like Sonic anymore. You know. So yeah, I've been Poor Cynic, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ta, and farewell.